TWP theme park plunge here today for my first ever visit to King's Dominion. Been wanting to go here since I was like 15 years old because I am a King's Island person. King's Island, obviously it's kind of weird being here because it looks a lot the same but different. It's like a parallel universe. Let's go. Yeah, this is so weird. It's like King's Island, but not. It's like so weird to me. Wow, what a bucket list item today. Okay, this is like where the stage was at Winterfest at King's Island where I filmed that. If you watch my Winterfest vlog, and then like there's the Eiffel Tower, just like at King's Island. This is just so weird. It's like King's Mirror. I, I, wow. Oddest experience ever. Like deja vu. Like I've done this before, but I haven't. I haven't ever been here. Okay, also, I've not looked at any maps. I have no idea where I'm going. I have no agenda, no plan. I'll get on the big rides for sure. <laughs> but uh, yeah, right now I'm just soaking it in, finding the park out, learning the park. Have no idea. Okay, first major difference is Planet Snoopy is to the left instead of to the right. This is going to be a fun day. <laughs> Twisted Timbers. This seems like a good direction to go. Wow, look at that clock. This is cool. Look at that. It's like Alice in Wonderland. Twisted Timbers is behind it, looks like. Lots of exploring to do. Oh wow, there is there is the one, Project 305. Can't wait to get on that. We found Twisted Timbers. I rode the Twisted Timbers, rode it near the back the first time, and in the first row the second time. And that is a great ride. Fun fact, Twisted Timbers way better than Mystic Timbers. It ain't even close. Haters can hate, but not a fan of Mystic Timbers. This is a much better ride. Much would rather have this at Kings Island. I'd much rather would. Uh, great theming. Love the Twisted Tree, the warehouse, you know, very similar to Mystic Timbers theming, but uh, really enjoy Twisted Timbers. Awesome ride. My second RMC, only because I've been out of the loop for a long time. Long story, I have to be another vlog, but it's great, great, great to be back into the theme parks, riding my second RMC. Got two rides, got some more rides to do, but uh, maybe I'll get, a, get another one. Hopefully, hopefully. Also, I got in on this wild mouse over here, the Zapple Apple. It's actually pretty fun. It's nice and smooth, not jerky at all. Pretty good for a wild mouse. So I picked up this Twisted Timbers lapel pin at the gift shop. And so what I'm gonna do is give it away. If somebody wants a Twisted Timbers lapel pin from King's Dominion and you live in the continental United States I will ship it to you if you put in hashtag twisted and you are selected as a winner I'm gonna do a random draw of some kind so one person gets it hashtag twisted and continental United States if you're not in the continental United States I can't help you but if you do want to pay for the shipping I will ship it to you if you want it if you live outside the continental United States I will ship it to you for free if you live in the continental United States, Twisted Timbers, look help in. Sonic the Hedgehog, he's Sonic, he's got an attitude. I'll throw in some Sonic the Hedgehog action there. So this Midway area, a lot different than the one at Kings Island. Obviously it looks a lot more foresty, for sure. Looks like we got a pizza restaurant. Maybe I should see if I can get some gluten-free pizza or something, because I need lunch. So 
if you're wondering what you could eat gluten-free at Victoria's Pizza at King's Dominion, because again, I have celiac disease, also type 1 diabetic, I've had it since I was two. Uh, let me show you what I got here. The all season drink cup, I think that was like 35 bucks. And then I got a cheese gluten-free pizza and a side salad. And um, I think it was like $17. The total was like $54, but that included the all season drink cup. So there you go. Let's see what you think. Pretty good, pretty traditional. I like it. Not bad for theme park food at all. This is so weird to me, still. It's like somebody stole the Eiffel Tower from Kings Island and stole it and moved it here to Virginia. It's it's just so weird. Salad, I eat very little dairy, but it's okay once in a while. I have it on here, so let's see. Pretty good, good salad. Really gotta give Victoria's, over here is Victoria's Pizza, Two thumbs up, excellent theme park food. I don't know if I'm gonna wait for them to sing, but here they are, famous singing mushrooms, King's Dominion, first time seeing them. Okay. Going, going Jungle the Expedition. Time to hit the Mac Daddy Project 305. Potentially my number one coaster in the world. Oh yes. One last ride on this beast. Here we go. Yes! That thing there, that is my new numero uno, number one roller coaster. That, that, that just kicks Millennium Force in the teeth. The intensity on that thing is phenomenal. I mean, it's shorter, it's, it's a short ride, but it's intense all the way through. It's smoking, man. <sighs> that thing, I wrote it twice, once in the front, and once near the back, I started the one near the back. I liked it in the front better. I met some single rider that was waiting in line and I kind of skipped a few carts ahead. So that was lucky because everything's one, one, one train ops today. So you gotta pick your moments, but uh, phenomenal ride. Now, obviously it's Project 305 now instead of Intimidator 305, but it might as well just call it the Intimidator 305 because it still says gentlemen start your engines when the train starts. And even the announcer sometimes slips and says Intimidator. But anyway. See, we got the sign over there, Project 305. Uh, and they took some stickers off the front of the train. That's about the gist of it. Everything else is the same. I think next year you'll get more of a retheme. It, it really needs a paint job really bad. So hopefully they leave it pretty much the same and just paint it and retheme it to Project 305. New number one, baby. Yes! Anaconda is closed today. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It saves me the back pain of going on an old arrow looper. So maybe it's a good thing, but uh, no credit for me. Okay, now that the most important things are done, basically Intimidator 305 and Twisted Timbers, and I rode them both multiple times. Uh, now it's to pick up some other credits like Racer, 75, Rebel Yell, and Dominator. Hopefully those are running. Let's see what else I can get to. So 
I'm about to get on the Dominator. I think this is relocated from Six Flags, Ohio. It's a B&M floorless, I believe. Gonna see what I think. Gonna check it out. So the Dominator, B&M Floorless, originally from Six Flags, Ohio, it's aged. So it's got some head rattly, it kind of bangs the head a little bit, but not a bad floorless for his age, pretty fun ride. Uh, I am a larger rider, so I did sit in one of the larger seats and they're weird there because it's like the second seat, like inside row four, I think, or five, I sat in. And what was really weird is like in the middle, like it's in the middle and then the other people sit around you. So it's kind of an awkward spot if you're a single rider and you're looking for a uh, seat. Almost make more sense to put it on the ends, I guess. But the good news is last year when I was riding the larger seats for B&Ms, I barely fit, but I fit. This year I, I got plenty of room and I almost actually fit in the regular seat. Um, it was really close, so I, I bet at the end of the month I probably would fit in the regular seat, but I do have some broad shoulders, so that's a concern, but all today I've been very happy. One of the reasons I was away from coasters was my weight, and uh, I'm getting on everything I want to do. Uh, I did ask about Outer Limits, Flight of Fear, and they told me that they could probably get me in the last two rows, but they said it was like a 45 minute wait, and I'm like, I'm not waiting that long for, for Flight of Fear, because I've done it at Kings Island, and it's okay, it's fun. I, ra I waited six hours for that when it first opened. Long, long time ago. I won't do that again. But uh, checking out the newest attractions I can since the park's kind of limited today, single ride ups, and it's my only time here right now. I don't know if I'll be back. Hopefully I will because Intimidator 305, Project 305, number one. Now this right here, pretty good addition. Obviously it's secondary to Twisted Timbers and uh, Project 305, but not bad, not bad. <laughs> With the Rebel Yell, I want more, more, more. It's not Rebel Yell anymore. It's Racer 75, twin dueling, whatever you want to call it, old wooden coaster. Needs a really bad paint job. Let's take a look at it. All clear? And all clear means you are rolling out of here. So sit up straight, hold on tight, and enjoy your ride on the Racer 75. Goodbye.
quarterback Lou Shea. We hope you enjoy that ride. Free to safety, free to safety, get it to the back of the way. Thank you. The Razor 75, better than I thought it would be. It, the paint job looks terrible. I thought it was going to be like really old and rickety, but they've done a lot of retracking to tell on the ride. They just haven't painted the thing. And it's great. I was, I was shocked. Pretty good ride. I mean, obviously it's just a smaller, older wooden coaster, but uh, pleasant surprise, very happy to ride it. A uh, very reminiscent of the racer at Kings Island. I think the racer might be a little bit better, but last year on the one side of the racer I did, it was a little bit jerkier. I think the other side they had already completely redone. So I have to give the racer at Kings Island another shot this year. Hopefully both sides are smooth as butter. This was smooth. Shocked. Absolutely shocked. Don't eat me. First time on the Grizzly, that ride was really good. I like the old PTC trains. It was smooth, lots of retracking. I could tell because it's fresh wood and uh, pleasantly surprised with the wooden coasters here at uh, King's Dominion. Looking forward to maybe getting a ride at the end of the night. We're gonna be running really fast now, running low on battery, getting close to the end of the day. Reptilian, let's check this out. So I did get one more ride in on Twisted Timbers in near the back row, second to last row, and it was hauling. Run away better than this morning. It was excellent. Met a nice lady, single rider, whatever you call it, you know, one person rider next to me and uh, got to talk about Velocicoaster. That was pretty cool. And uh, now I'm here at Reptilian. reptilian bobsled style coaster pretty fun ride never rode one like it before it was pretty cool i mean obviously not the best ride in the world but pretty fun glad i did it new credit totally different experience for me obviously uh, i gotta keep running it's almost the end of the day So we got the Anaconda credit after all, very much like the Vortex, same spinal injuries that you get riding the Vortex. Remember the last time I rode the Vortex at Kings Island, I was like, this thing needs it to go. But you know what? I'm happy this is here. I'm really happy this is here because it had a blast of nostalgia. I remember being a kid and like going on the Vortex again and again and again, loving the Vortex, loving the six inversions, all that stuff and it, definitely gave me those memories and those vibes and I'm very grateful it was really cool one train off so you know it's at least this ride's short as far as the line black and that's just the first four seconds the outer limit flight of fear only at Paramount King Dominion so I just got a zen ride on outer limits flight of fear or just flight of fear now it was great. What happened was I was waiting in line, the ride broke down, everybody got out of line, I waited, and they tested, ran two test cycles after they fixed it, and then I got a Zen ride. <laughs> What's a lifetime opportunity here? So glad I went to uh, Flight of Fear, and I fit fine. Uh, I just went to the, like, the back part of the car, and uh, I had no issues, no issues at all. So good news, Flight of Fear, Kings Island, here I come, but that was great. <laughs> Once in a lifetime, Zen Ride on Flight of Fear. King's Dominion, what's your what's your name? It's Cam. Cam, King's Dominion. Employees here are great. Awesome employees here at King's Dominion. All right, I'm gonna end it here because it's nice and quiet. I don't know what it's gonna be like at the front of the park. Park just closed. I just got 
like four rides back to back to back on Project 305, Intimidator 305. That is the best ride I've ever ridden and it ain't even close. The, the intensity of the curves, like, oh, just blew my mind, mind blown on that Project 305 for sure. The Zen ride on Outer Limits, I'm so glad I went back and tried to get it and everything worked out perfect. What about everything in the park? Didn't ride back Let's Stuck Coaster, I could do that at Kings Island. And I didn't ride the uh, Tumbili, the Six Flags looking thing. I don't, I don't care about that. But I ended up getting the Anaconda credit. I had an amazing, amazing day at King's Dominion. Got to shut the park down and open it up. I mean, wow, wow. And uh, as far as King's Island is concerned, um, better selection of rides, but um, Project 305 is the best ride I've ever been on. So there's that. And uh, Twisted Timbers, definitely better than Mystic Timbers. For sure, for sure. Good little RMC, happy to have gotten on it and fit very well. And uh, things are looking up in the world for me. Um, if you haven't, please subscribe. Please comment down below if you've been to King's Dominion. Have you been to King's Island, King's Dominion? Which is better in your opinion? And uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next video.